Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. If you think that ticks and other insects are worse as we head into the summer months, you're right. Here's SUNUP's Dave Deacon with an option to control them. A couple weeks ago on SUNUP we took you inside the tick research lab here at Oklahoma State University and now we're out here with Dr. Terry Bidwell and, and you're going to tell us about where they actually are in nature. Exactly. Uh, ticks prefer areas that are shaded, very moist, and anybody that's been in the woods or been out in tall grass finds that out really quick and they say, I'm not going back in there anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it's a real problem, but we found out there's a way to mitigate that by prescribed burning. Now, what, what, what are you looking for whenever you, whenever you need to uh, do a prescribed burn in an area? Well, if we're in a normal rotation prescribed burning, we're probably burning maybe once every three years, something like that. But the effects on tick is an, ticks are, is an annual effect. In other words, uh, if you don't burn every year, you won't have the effect on ticks. What we're really doing is drying out the environment. We're changing that microclimate that ticks don't like. And the same thing goes with chiggers. So if we burned an area recently, we don't have a tick or chigger problem. Whenever you're burning them, you're actually drying out the environment, but you're also killing them. Exactly. If we burn during the growing season, say late spring, or we do a summer burn or a fall burn, we could physically burn those ticks up, and that happens also. So we're anytime we're burning, we're getting rid of ticks. Okay, and, and tick management is important to humans, but also animals. Absolutely. Uh, our domestic livestock, ticks have a huge negative impact on all sorts of domestic livestock, on wildlife, deer, and at really high tick loads, animals can actually die, particularly if they're stressed from drought or uh, lack of food. Okay. Now, let, let's talk a little bit about some of the, uh, not, not only ticks, but also chiggers and other parasites. Right. Uh, there's been a lot of research done. Uh, you know, growing up, you'd hear people say, old timers, well, if you burn an area, you get rid of the ticks. Well, in fact, research has shown that all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, in a general sense, fire gets rid of both internal and external parasites. It breaks the cycle. For example, in southeast Oklahoma, there's a meningeal brainworm that does not impact white-tailed deer, but is decimating to elk. And so uh, when you burn an area, you get rid of the intermediate host, which is a little woodland snail. You dry the environment out, the snail can't survive, so the meningeal brainworm can't survive. So you can't have elk in Oklahoma without fire. Okay. And, and, and let's talk about prescribed burn in Oklahoma. What are some of the keys that uh, producers need to be thinking about? Well, we've, there's some misinformation out there about timing of burns. The most important thing is just to burn when you can safety, safely. And safely, you know, is, is when you can meet the prescription. So that's what we want to do. And so uh, it's very important for livestock production in terms of forage quality. But if we can get that tick load off those cattle, that's going to have a very positive impact. Okay. And in an undergrowth area like this, what, what, what should we be doing? Yeah, in shaded areas in particular where the ticks are going to hand out. This area has not been burned in many, many years, but if we were burning this area, you'd see that it's much more open. You still have the trees for mm -hmm. shade, but you've actually reduced that understory vegetation, mm -hmm. so you just don't have the tick load in there. Okay, well, thank you very much. And for more information about ticks and prescribed burns, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.